first part of the question says if minus 2 and 1 are entered as values of x and y in both processes the sum out sum of output values p and q is so let's put minus 2 comma 1 here is x greater than 0 no so x is equal to mod x x becomes 2 here p is equal to x plus y y is 1 so p becomes 3 the output value p is 3 in this case we put minus 2 comma 1 is x greater than 0 no so y is equal to 3y y becomes 3 into 1 3 q is equal to x minus y so minus 2 minus 3 q becomes minus 5 output q is minus 5 the sum of values p and q is 3 minus 5 that is minus 2 so the first correct answer is minus 2 let's come to the second part of the question this says 2 and minus 3 are entered and then mod of p minus q so let's figure it out 2 and minus 3 are entered Two comma minus three is x greater than zero? Yes. So x becomes minus two here. P is equal to x plus y. So minus two plus minus three that becomes minus five here. Output p is minus five. Let's put two comma minus three again. Is x greater than zero? Yes. So y is equal to minus 4, q is equal to x minus y, x is 2 and minus y would be plus 4, so 2 plus 4 is 6. Output q, 6, we have to find the mod of p minus q, mod of p minus q would be mod of minus 5 minus 6 which is mod of minus 11 which turns out to be 11 so the second answer must be 11 the right combination of answers minus 2 and 11